What the hell is going on? Seems like we're in an animatronic. Freddy, if we're being specific. Are we the dead child inside of it? I want you to really think about what you said, Don. Chica, you overgrown Thanksgiving dinner. I should have cooked you last game. Even she wouldn't have ate you, Don. Oh, you, it's Bonnie. You look different when you're not straddling my door. Donald, that's a kid. Since nobody answered, I'll ask again. What the hell is going on? I just said we were inside Freddy. How the hell is that even possible, Joe? I don't know. Hell of a way to introduce the game, boys. What the f*** happened to them? Puberty. They got upgrades. All shiny new looks, parts, the whole kit and caboodle. It looks like it got the Rick and Morty treatment. Well, you know how Justin Roiland is with kids. All right, you know the drill. New job in town and we're the ones to apply for it. $100 a night. And 50 cents. I might as well bend down on my knees and touch my toes the way they want to fuck me. I don't think you could touch your toes. And aren't you overreacting a bit? Clipping of my pubic hair costs more than that, Joe. No, I'm not overreacting. That's a very odd thing to know the exact price of. Oh, what in the Chinese sweatshop? This looks like something straight out of the 80s. This is our office for the game. As you can see, there isn't any doors here for us to close. All we have to our name is our flashlight and a Freddy mask. So how do I stop them? That Freddy mask will protect you from most of the animatronics that try to scan you. It's like Disneyland vomited all over here. Go to cam 11 because that's the prize corner. This is the most important camera to watch. You need to keep the music box wound up. What the fuck is that? He looks like a fidget spinner. Well, I found the old animatronics. Joe, I've asked this like five times and I still have not gotten an answer. What the fuck is happening? Can you let me speak and maybe just maybe I would fucking say it. Floor's all yours, Joe. I'm all ears. We'll start with the animatronics. There's a lot more this time, however. Most function the same. If they appear at your desk, just put on that Freddy mask that you have on the side and you should be good. How do I put on the Freddy mask again? It's at the bottom next to your camera where the red arrow is. And this is like the, the, the door mechanic from the first game. More or less, time is of the essence here because you don't have a lot of it when someone is at your desk. If you're not quick on the draw, you risk it all. And he spits out a hymn. Great, I asked a question and got a Shakespeare quote back. I'm gonna remind you that you need to keep that music box wound up. That is the most important priority in this game. What happens if it runs out? Trust me, you don't want to know. We went through this last time, Joe. He clearly does. He fucking asked. You know what I didn't ask for? What? Your input. <laughs> what the hell? You want to explain that one to me, Joe? That was a balloon boy. Off to the left, he'll make noises every now and then. Good to know. Well, I'm glad you guys are just taking everything at face value. That really inspires confidence from our Democratic candidates. What do you want me to do, Donald? Complain to Fox News? Or rant on Twitter? Or encourage your voters to raid a government building? Or rant on Twitter? Or rant on Twitter? Or rant on Twitter? I get it! Stop saying it already, you're sounding like a broken record! Or rant on Twitter? Or rant on Twitter? Or rant... Uh, I think he's actually broken, Don. Did his brain melt or something? He has a brain. You know what? Valid argument. Hey, Sleepy Joe, it's time to wake up. Oh, what the hell happened? You entered the twilight zone after talking about Twitter. Yeah, hearing Obama say it makes it sound like the plot to a bad Saturday Night Live skit. You mean a Saturday Night Live skit? No, a bad Saturday night. Oh, I see what you did there. This music box is certainly demanding, isn't it? It gets way tougher to manage down the stretch, so just be grateful for the moment of peace right now. Uh, is Bonnie gone? Yep, that looks like Bonnie is gone. There goes that moment of peace. He's the easier animatronic to manage. Should be all right, even if you can't find him. Oh, sorry, government. I don't know where my tax money could have gone. Maybe it just disappeared. You see how stupid you sound? Donald, that is unironically what you did multiple times. Uh, yeah, but it's funny when I do it. I'm related to that. This music is terrifying. Obama, wind up the music box. Already on it. Yeah, the ambience music makes the tone a lot more nerve-wracking. Found him. On his hands and knees, too. Shameful. Uh, I can't flash my light down the hall. That's a... Freddy! Freddy! What the hell are you doing out? Check the stage, Obama. Let me check the vents first. All right, we're good. Oh, f***. They're all out. Chica, what lovely teeth you have. Don't forget to wind up the music box. Uh-oh. Why the hell did Freddy get closer? That's not good at all. This game just got really stressful really fast. And Freddy is still there. How the hell do we get rid of him? He either goes away on his own or... He'll show up at the desk. Like I said, that's when he'll show up at your desk, and you just got to be quick on the draw. Just like how I was there. That's good to know. Oh, fuck, Bonnie's at the vent. He wasn't at your desk, though. Why did you put... You did it. Nice job, Barack. What was that, Donald? Shut the hell up. Someone else is in the vents. It's Chica. Damn, that's a, a bird, all right. What the hell were you thinking of? Nothing, Joe. Nothing at all. There we go. Night one down. As it should have been, it's the first night. Always the easiest.
You did a good job. It gets crazy at the end, so that's why I didn't talk much, but good job. Was it that, or you forgot to talk? Let's just say both. Well, from the hint of the last game, Barack, we may have more company tonight. That's common sense. It's not so common for Don. Joe, who's going after Obama once he gets dragged into the streets, me or you? Well, since I know a lot more about this game and its methods, I think it's best if you go next to get your turn. If you do that, Joe, you won't get yours. Have you forgotten that you're in the presence of the world's best security guard? If you love being it that much, get a tattoo of it at this point. And what if I do, Obama? What if I go inside a tattoo parlor, tell the artist what I want, sketch out the tattoo and brand it right on my fucking skin? What would you do? I'd tell the artist to make it a tramp stamp. He probably already has one from his prison time. You got a tramp stamp already done? No, you beat me to the punch on that one. The way you two kiss each other in pieces, I'm surprised there isn't hair on your lips. Donald's the type of president to ask if we could put a thong on the Statue of Liberty. At least she would be able to fit a thong on her. Michelle should take notes. The last time my wife put on a thong... Joe, shut the hell up! I have to agree with Donald on this one. Uh, what's that? Sounds like someone is getting a midnight snack. You might want to check your bearings. On it? Well, I shouldn't have expected anything less. Damn, was that Bonnie? Yeah. Well, why did you say his name like that? Odd thing to do, Donald. I just thought he was going hard on the guitar. Is that his jump scare? Blasting our ass with some Bon Jovi? That would be cool, but no, it's not. Damn, that would have been cool. Uh, it fucking moved? That's terrifying. And is that a mouth on its crotch? I'll, I'll be honest, I never noticed that. Donald, how the hell was that the first thing you noticed? Don't question me. Also, for a kid's restaurant, Chica should not be built like a Coke bottle. Again, quite the interesting thing to notice off first glance. How the hell am I not supposed to notice it? Her thighs could cover up half the state of Virginia. Makes it pretty hard not to look at it. You can just say you think she's thick. Moving on, looks like both Bonnie and Chica are flanking the vents. This game is a lot more high maintenance than the first game. So if you need to, you can tune us out and focus on the night. Yeah, like I can tune out Donald. I'm not even that loud. You're literally around your loudspeaker wife 24-7. You should be skilled at tuning loud people out. You would think so, wouldn't you? So what happens if this thing goes all the way down? Sounds like something bad. Well, it's a horror game. What do you think is going to happen? Yes, Captain Obvious, but what specifically will happen? That's what I want to know. In your words, something bad. Focus, Obama. Well, you can see the art plastered on the wall, right? You see that black and white figure? You mean the thing that looks like AOC? Yeah, that. Yeah, I see it. Need I say more? And Freddy is closer now, all of this, and it's only 2 a.m. Time is not of the essence in this game, is it? Quite the opposite. Somehow time drags on for way longer than it should. It's those butt-clenching moments that keep you on edge. Speaking of. Yeah, but after the first time, it becomes pretty routine. Just stay still and don't move, and you're all right. It's the thought of it, though, the impending fright that could happen at any moment. And now it looks like Chica is coming through the vent this time. Speaking of routine, wait, the hell? What the fuck is that the thing from over here? It looked like it got packed in a sardine can. And why does it sound like a ham radio? That's just the noise it emits, sort of like white noise. Uh, he's in the office. Stay calm. You had a great reaction there by putting your mask on. You should be fine. Foxy? Oh, fuck, not this thing. How do we stop it? Again, keep calm. What you're doing now is actually how you stop Foxy. You have to flash him with your flashlight. This is a lot more to manage than last game. Really, Don? You, the guy that hasn't played yet, is telling me? Oh, fuck, it's that thing. Joe, just how many animatronics are there in this game? There's an amount. Looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland. He could star in a freak show or something. You mean co-star? You would be the main attraction. Obama, we can make jokes later when we're not on the verge of fucking dying. What the hell? Uh, that's Balloon Boy, the kid from earlier. Is the whole Toy Story cast after us or something? Let me guess, these are also kids that got killed here too at this new restaurant. Is this just another Play-Doh fun factory of death? Now, if I said yes, would you be surprised? Surprised? No. Disappointed? Yes. All right. Uh, we're in 5 a.m. territory. This is nothing new here, however. We still want to be on our toes here, guys. Anything could happen. Yeah, this whole night has just been an emotional roller coaster. Like a meeting with Congress. Welcome to the second game. Remember, we have five more to complete after this, so get strapped in. Joe, I am too old to have any scares like this, and I don't think I have to say anything about your condition. We get it. He's decrepit. Move on already, shut up, and let me finish the night. I forgot, any liberal at any age doesn't like facts. I think everything is locked down for now. We should be good. Ah, oh, crap. Spoke too soon, Obama? No, no, I think we might actually be good. He would have already jumped out. We should be fine. Here's to hope. We got this, boys. As if on cue. There we go, too easy for us. We're cruising through this. Obama has yet to fumble our winning streak. 
Donald, what did you say about Toy Chica earlier? Good job on the win, Barack. And we're back in the corpse carriage known as Freddy. Don narrating for our blind audience. And Chica looks angry. Who the hell pissed on her pizza? Donald, why are you looking at me? You know why, Joe. Let's see here. And Bonnie looks angry, too. He's giving the face of someone who stepped on a Lego. For a party place, we sure got a lot of party poopers. Maybe because they fucking died here, Don. If they were as sultry as they are now coming into the establishment, then I think they kind of deserved it. Do you hear what you say at all, or do you just say shit without even thinking about it? I want you to ask that again, Obama. Do you? No, the answer is no. Do you guys want me to give you a brief rundown of all the animatronics? That would be nice, Joe. Yeah, whatever Obama said. So there are a total of 10 animatronics to watch out for. 10? Is the damn Brady Bunch after us? How are there 10? Well, technically 11 now that I think of it, but the puppet in the music box doesn't really count. Wait, that thing's a puppet? I thought that was just Monica Lewinsky. Really? She looks different when her face isn't in Bill's crotch. Its real name is the marionette, and calling it Monica Lewinsky is insulting to the puppet, Don. Okay, well, jokes aside, what does everybody do? I'll start off with the most common animatronic, Foxy. Speaking of, look who it is. Goodness, he looks at us like a blind grandma. Yeah, so what you're doing now works against Foxy. Rapidly flashing your light so he becomes a deer staring down an oncoming semi-truck. Off topic, but do you guys ever just want to mow down a deer when you see it just standing in the middle of the road? I want to do that to you now, Donald. What? And all you're doing is just sitting on a couch right now. The tolerant left, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anyways, the other animatronics are Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie, Mangle, Withered Freddy, Withered Bonnie, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Balloon Boy, and one more animatronic that I'll keep nameless for now. You just listed half an MLB roster, Joe. That's at least a third of sitting congressmen. I know, it's quite the amount. However, all of them get fooled by your mask. Whether they stay at the vent or come up to your desk, all of them will leave you alone if you put on the Freddy mask in time. I've been practicing that sometimes, too, like this. You got it, Barack. You're managing things a lot better than you were last game. He's basically calling you shit, Obama. Odd thing to translate from a compliment, but it's not the first time you've reached, Don. Donald, try not to be an asshole challenge. Difficulty, impossible. Joe literally said you were better at this game, but that implies you were a pile of horse piss at the first game. My fault for being grammatically correct. This night hasn't really been as active yet, if I'm being honest. Just seems like a lot of foxy. Yeah, that happens with some of the nights. I mean, you just saw that the new ones were still on stage. It's sort of like a bait and switch and activity swaps between the animatronics as the week progresses. Can I ask why the withered ones look like they got brushed through a George Foreman grill? Foxy, for example, uh, was salvaged from an old location. From my understanding, either they were damaged before salvaging them or their exoskeleton was used for the newer animatronics. Every time you answer my question, it just sounds like the plot to a Disney movie. Think about this. What I'm telling you is a fraction to what is actually happening at this place. Where's the Better Business Bureau when you need them? They can be stuck raiding my hotels, but for this place, they just put the cork up their ass and twist away. Well, your favorite animatronic is making another reappearance, Joe. How the hell did they make him look creepier than the last game? He's probably the most common animatronic you'll see in the hallway. A creepy old skeleton wandering around a kid's place? Kind of sounds oddly familiar, Sleepy Joe. Joe's favorite singer would probably be Kid Rock. Ah, oh, I get it. Clever, Obama, clever. I go out of my way to help you guys, and this is the thanks I get. We're just joking. Never mind. That's Joe's favorite character. Also, when did you think I was joking? At what point have I laughed at anything I said? Well, I'm just saying it because I'm just bored, to be honest. Night three normally gets more active than this, too. Maybe we just have the good side of the luck this time. Good thing I checked that vent. Why can't I just kick these damn things back? Balloon Boy is like the size of a preschooler. You can't tell me he weighs that much. They're coming in at max speed, so it would feel like trying to stop a bullet train. Who's to say I can't stop a bullet train? Donald, every time you ask these sort of questions, I remind myself of the time you had a press conference with Fox News and you stood like a velociraptor. So I'm saying you can't stop a bullet train. I'd be surprised if you could stop yourself from eating. Damn, 5 a.m. again, just like that. Obama has cruised this ship without being in a rough edge of water. We're not out of the deep end just yet. What the f***? Quick reaction time. That's the way to do it, Barack. Hell of a save, Obama. One second sooner and you would have been toast. I was anticipating for that to happen all throughout the night, and I was about to give up at the last moment, but something told me to just do it again. If you wind the music box up all the way this time, you should just be able to sit at your desk and let 6 a.m. hit. Overall, a pretty stress-free night three. Yeah, I, I really don't know what to say besides congrats. Um, Barack has just been chugging this train along. 
like it's his daily chore. Well, all in a day's work. And you said this game would be harder than the first one, Joe. We've had little to no struggle, and we're almost to night four. Give it time, trust me. If we give it too much time, you'll be on your deathbed. Back into the nightmare. Is this what blind people think an LSD trip looks like? I'm more leaning towards a haunted house. Who the hell is that? It looks like a gold bear. He looks like the Haribo mascot. Of course, the first thing that comes to your mind is food. We're in a damn restaurant. What else do you want me to think about? Oh, right, dead kids. You would know a lot about that because of Iraq. Donald, you were literally friends with a human trafficker. You have no moral high ground here. And we blacked out again. The party was too lit. Do you remember how I said there were five kids killed and they were all stuffed into suits? I think so. Well, the fifth kid got stuffed into that golden suit named Golden Freddy. He's actually in the first game, but we were never lucky enough to come across him. Joe, it's like you're trying to teach calculus to a damn third grader here. Not that hard to understand, Donald. I forgot you had to calculate all the economic loss we sustained during your presidency. Just let him play the damn game. He started it. All right, just like a pig den after supper time, she picks up fast now. Talking from experience, Joe? Of course. I had to pick up after a pig when I entered the White House. If you two are going to catfight, can you please take it into the other room? It's a mere civil discussion, Barack. Shut the hell up, piss rat. Well, it was a mere civil discussion. Donald had to ruin that, just like he ruined three marriages. Anyways, Obama, remember that you have to maintain your flashlight battery. You've been going hog wild crazy these past few nights. And if you run out of battery, who knows what'll happen? You won't be able to flash Foxy anymore and he'll jump right at you. Got it. Well, when I see the other withered animatronics, I just base that I have to spam my flashlight regardless. They're going to show up at your desk whether you do that or not. So you're pretty much just letting your battery drain out. Redundancy, Obama. We need to avoid those crucial mistakes if we plan to survive night four. What do you mean, we? You haven't done anything but sit on your fat ass and eat Big Macs. I call them Big Donalds from McDonald's. And I haven't taken over the helm just yet because you have done a surprisingly nice job. That's as much of a compliment as you're going to get from him, Barack. Just take it. That mangle thing is like a car battery with legs. Reminds me of the 50s when people thought robots would be very loud and obtuse with heavy machinery parts and smoke coming from their gears. What you said sounds like something I would hear on the twilight zone from this old bag on the side of the road. It's quite honestly impressive that you can make your life sound like a Dracula-based horror movie. Joe seems like the type of guy to study the life of someone named Cornelius Doodleberry. Born in the Egyptian catacombs, Joe saw the pyramids being constructed before his very eyes. This is becoming a daily occurrence where I just get the rough end of the stick, and I'm not liking it very much. We appreciate everything you've done for us, Joe. No comment. Well, so far this has been pretty routine. Nothing has been too out of the ordinary, but knowing how this game has composed itself, I'm just waiting for the domino to fall. It can and will happen without a moment's notice. It's really important to always be on your toes, no matter what the scenario may present. Well, for now, we got them locked up, so that's a good sign going forward. You were saying? Shut the hell up, Don. Don't worry, I think you got it off in time, but the proof is in the flesh right there. Without warning, things could go from zero to 100 within an instant. It's just like government operations, Obama. One day, everything is going fine and dandy, and then, boom, you're accused of tax evasion. That's why you always have to be prepared. I don't think that's a good comparison, but I digress. Just stay on your toes because they're coming in hot from here on out. Dropping the mask is getting easier the more I do it. Is that Freddy? Yeah, the withered one. Fucking hell, he looks like he's built Ford tough. He definitely eats oats for breakfast. Nice and smooth with progress so far. Someone's gonna be there, aren't they? called it right on the dot. I was just thinking it was Balloon Boy, but Bonnie too? They're not holding any punches here. It's fourth quarter for them and all bets are off. Every time you wind up that music box, you should throw that shit right on your face. Absolutely deep throat it. After hearing that, I really want them to just beat my head in. So you hear the vent, but no one is there, right? Yeah. Flip up your camera and wind the music box. Most likely Chica will be the animatronic at the desk. You know way too much about this game, Joe. How did you know that? Pattern recognition. Like everything else, there's a formula that you naturally stumble onto when you play the game long enough. In other words, you're a no-life. 5 a.m. Now, we just got to carry through the rest of the night, and we're almost done with this game. Like I said, I can't get over the fact that you're just spanking this game with no remorse, Barack. Get the music box! I know, Donald. Chill out. Flip the mask down immediately. There you go. This is not the security guard you're looking for. Move along. And he moved along. Bonnie should have killed you just for that. You gotta crank it again. The music box moves really fast during these nights. I knew it. 
I'm just going to assume that every time I open the cameras now, there's going to be someone on the other side. I don't know why you would think otherwise. You know the track records with these guys? They want to dive on us like we're a swimming pool. You should be good after this wind-up, Brock. And I might just drag out for time. It's been 5 a.m. for a while now. You can let the music box go for a lot longer than you think. You should be good to sit here. Told you. Well, that's another night in the books, guys. Joe, I don't believe this game is harder than the first. For fuck's sake, Obama is just clearing it without a problem. Undefeated on the field in the courtroom. Take a lesson, Don. And we're back in the nightmare. What the fuck is that? Oh, he's moving with us, too. Joe, did a small, malnourished individual escape your basement again? Not this time, but this is the marionette that I was talking about. Notice its creepy glare and sinister smile. Almost like its pale white face is trying to lure you into something truly evil. Did you just read out your own manifesto? There's some eerie familiarity with the character here. Says the friend of Epstein. If that list gets released, I think we're all in some deep shit. And we fucking died again. As soon as we start asking questions, we get silenced. Just, just like, like the, the US, US government. government. Jinx. So, Joe, same plan as last time? You know the drill. Expect them to be more aggressive. But you also have to adapt to something new. Hell, there's still stuff they're adding? Yes, they are, and it's a big one. If you stay on the camera too long, they'll pull it down and um, start scanning you unexpectedly. Good thing I'll be on my toes the entire time. You gotta bring more than your A-game. If you don't ace the test, you'll just be another casualty to the list. Do you get stuffed into a suit on this one, too? Well, death is death. Doesn't matter if it's in a suit or a garbage bin, I think what'll kill you is getting manhandled by robots three times your size. Here they come. That's like a wolf treating a chicken as a chew toy. You would think being dead kids, they would have a little more delicacy treating human beings. I understand them. If I had those powers and I saw an adult, it's lights out. This music box must be broken. The time is dropping like crazy. Welcome to Night 5, Barack. This is just the start. Well, hold up. Since this is a new restaurant, aren't there only five souls that are in these animatronics? Why the hell are all ten roaming around? Don, I'll have to explain it all to you one of these days when we have the free time. You want to golf sometime? Yeah, I'm not that interested. It was just a general question. Oh, shit. See, what did I tell you? You weren't lying. They are super quick to snap it down. I might be dead here. You should be good, I think. Freddy ain't fucking around with you, Barack. It's like fighting black belts in karate. That doesn't make any sense, but you need to stay on your toes by any means necessary. You just saw what will happen if they catch you loafing around. Expect the unexpected. Got it. That time was better. You were on the, the ready for that round. Keeping on your guard is the most important thing when you start using the camera now, because they could b bring it down even when you just put it up. That's what I'm trying to do. What the fuck? I think you messed up, Obama. I was on the mask. It didn't do anything. I was literally hovering over. Oh. Well, I won't lie. It was good while it lasted. Damn near almost completed the game. Damn it. I knew I forgot something. If you have your mouse right on the mask when they pull your camera down, uh, the game won't recognize it. You gotta flick it up. I'll blame that one on me for not telling you. Crap. That was almost the perfect run, too. Now I gotta see Donald beat the game. The world's best security guard is here. No worries, Obama. I'll avenge your inability and become what you never could. How have you not gotten assassinated yet? First time playing, and I already feel claustrophobic. Get used to the view. You're here for six hours. It's like I'm trying to move around in a porta potty. All this space, yet I'm packed in an office the size of a sardine can. Focus up. This is night five. You don't have time to be goofing off. Don't you remember, Joe, or were you too busy dozing off between recording sessions? Before I play the game, I do my research. Hopefully you didn't read any fake news. You think I read a fucking CNN article on how to strategize my light routines? I know you read the CNN articles about leaving office with nuclear secrets. Which was all fake news, a total hoax? The game, Donald. Focus already. They come at you without warning. Then leave me the hell alone. I was just bringing up a good point about your news appearances. Has Donald been on any good terms with the news outlets ever? Maybe once back in the 90s, but that was before his infamous catchphrase. Which one? Grab them by the pussy. He talks like that and expects a second term in the Oval Office. I'm right here, you assholes. Have a bit of common decency, will you? Ironic coming from you. All those news articles are left-leaning. I could donate all my net worth and one of my nuts, and people would still find something to complain about. You know that you can't please everybody, Donald. No matter how hard you try, there's always going to be someone in the world that has a problem with whatever you do. And that's just life. Plenty of people didn't like what I did in the White House, and that's the same with you and Joe. I suppose that's fair. In the meantime, flicking down the mask is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You already got the hang of it, huh? Yeah, it reminds me of whack-a-mole. As soon as they pop up, you gotta put them back down. That makes no sense. I don't think I was talking to you, Obama, so how about you let me focus on the game? 
Who the hell else were you talking to? Were you really enjoying a conversation with Joe Biden over here? Do you really think Joe Biden could understand any words that aren't related to horror games and chocolate, chocolate chip? For fuck's sake, half of his speeches sound like a parrot on ecstasy. You incompetent asshole, just because I take longer to think doesn't mean I'm a sack of potatoes on the side of the road. Competent enough to catch Chica. Listen, Joe is smart, extremely intelligent even, and he's just a bit delayed when it comes to speaking. That's just another way of calling him special. He might as well have the processing speed of Internet Explorer. Nice reflexes, by the way. Joe, you probably still think Obama is in his second term. Wait, he's not in his second term? That's exactly what I'm talking about, you wrinkly old scrotum. Why the hell do we have someone older than colored television in office? I was clearly messing around. And you're also older than the colored TV. Again, nice reflexes. Yeah, but I'm not you, Sleepy Joe, so it's entirely different. Some solid kindergarten logic from Don. This is like watching a toddler and his crippled grandpa fight over pudding. Did someone say pudding? And I knew someone was going to be there. Joe daydreaming about dessert almost got me killed. Who else but Joe? Night five lives up to its difficulty. Every time I wind up the music box, someone's on the block. Just like now, I didn't even wind up the music box. I'm probably dead now. That is not a good sign to see. They should be gone. Just wind it up now. I'm winding. I'm winding. Good. I didn't say this, but you have a bit more time even when the timer runs out. Like a buffer period? Pretty much. The timer will be completely out of time, but there's still five to ten seconds for you to tend to the music box before the marionette gets loose. How do we even stop that freakish looking thing? By winding the music box. That is the one and only way to stop it. Once the music box runs out entirely, it's all over. You'll hear a jack-in-the-box music ring through your ears, and then it's only a matter of time. I hear a damn radio signal in my ear. Does it operate like the mangle? No, like I said, once you hear the music, it's raps. No winding, no Freddy mask, and no flashlight can save you if the marionette gets out. You just have to hope that 6 a.m. is closer than he is. Well, make sure it doesn't get to that, Don. If Chica can stop sniffing my glory hole, it might be a little bit easier. You're telling me you're not used to getting your ass kissed. Your vice president was Mike Pence. How are you not used to that? Because Pence kisses my ass like a baby mule. He does it ever so gently, like he's scared I'm going to snap at him the second he does something I don't like. Chica just rams in there without any hesitation. Did you really expect anything else from Night 5? They're here to end you, not caress your cheek. I know, it just would have been nice, that's all. I still can't get over how you just threw your running mate under the bus like that. He'll be fine. It's not like he really does anything useful. I think I talked to him a total of three times outside of photo shoots, and they were all about how hot my daughter was. He really said that? Who said he did? What the f***? I regret asking. I really, really, really regret asking. And Mangle's at the vent, and Bonnie is right here. Boy, they are really not letting up. We're really moving on from what Donald said, just like that? On the bright side of things, it's 4 a.m., so you only have to tank a couple more hours until we're home free. We're actually just moving on. I'm the senile one, and even I think that this is crazy. Joe, I'm just really trying to forget what I heard. You know who doesn't forget to harass me? Chica. She also doesn't forget to eat either, from what I can tell. You would know that of all people, Mr. Big Mac. Listen, if there's good food, I'm going to eat it. It's that simple. Just because I'm a billionaire doesn't mean I'm not a normal human being who eats normal things. That wasn't Joe's point. Joe's point was that you eat too much of that good food. Like a water balloon that's about to pop. My fault my ribs aren't sticking out of me like an underfed grade schooler. A strong gust of wind would send you from D.C. to L.A. I'm surprised I haven't been insulted yet. You're healthy. We can't really do anything with that. You're also asking to be insulted, and I'm not giving you what you want. You've practically had that since 2008. Close to, except interacting with the annoying orange who's not focusing on the game. No need to. It's become pretty automated at this time of the night. I can even wind up the music box all the way. I didn't expect Bonnie, I will say that. Your arrogance is showing, Donald. You almost got humbled there, too. I'm being serious here. The only real thorn in my side is Foxy, but he hasn't done anything this night. While it is 5 a.m., remember that they will show up at the most unexpected time. You don't want to be right at the end and fall short. Hey, Joe, I'm just noticing this, but that golden bear on the wall, is that the golden Freddy that we saw during the cutscene? That's what the community speculates. Again, there is a lot of details I can't really go into because you're supposed to fill in the puzzle pieces as you go, but I'm trying to fill you in on every major detail. I think there's things revealed throughout the phone calls too, but we really can't listen to those. Just to summarize them, this is obviously a new restaurant, and uh, the person calling gives us details about the restaurant and animatronics. He also talks a lot about the, the news spreading lies about the establishment, which revolves around the missing kids. 
I doubt any of that is fake news, though. Bonnie, you bitch. Donald, if you die here. Nah, he should be good. He got it down pretty fast. Instinct to flick my mouse just saved us there. What a way that would have been to go out. Well, we don't have to worry about that day, because I beat it the first attempt. Let's go, Donald. Too easy for you. Seems a bit anticlimactic, maybe because I did all the hard work to get here. Either way, good show, Donald. That's why I'm the best. Oh, yeah, I forgot I get a DoorDash tip for the hard work I did. You mean that I did and you finished off? Wait a minute, 1987? Why the hell are we in 1987? Doesn't it make sense that the pay is so low? Our name is Jeremy? Jeremy Fitzgerald, it seems. Well, no wonder those animatronics were after us. Our name is Jeremy. That's like a modern-day kick-me sign. Well, guys, you beat all five nights and I didn't even have to play. Congratulations, but we still have to play the sixth night. Of course, there's a sixth night. Why wouldn't there be a sixth night? You heard him, Don. Let's get this done. Let me stop at McDonald's first. Oh, here it is, guys. Night six. Are you ready for Freddy? As ready as Don will ever be. Obama, you were right at the edge of winning until you fumbled last night. Just so it's fair, I'll hand over the wheel to you so that you get another try at sweeping the game. That's very considerate, Don. Yeah, too considerate. You normally treat us like Fox News treated Tucker Carlson. Yeah, what are you up to? Can a president lend a hand to a fellow president? Not when you don't wash your hands, Don. We all know what you touched. Let's start the night. Let's save the bickering for afterwards. I got my eye on you, Donald. You guys treat me like I'm a criminal or something. You, you are. are. Well, I set myself up for that one. I know we did this with all the other nights, but don't skip this phone call. You need to hear this. Okay. Well, that's concerning. What the f***? He's alive? I know it's weird, but just listen. What fucking jutsu did he learn to pull this off? And why does he seem so concerned? Yellow one? Is he talking about Golden Freddy? I still don't know who that is, but clearly we aren't supposed to be here. Something went down. Well, I'm even more confused now, but it might have something to do with those killings. He said something about someone moving a golden suit, right? Something like that. Connect the dots. People died, he's distressed, and a suit was missing. I don't get it. Use your brain, Don. I know it's hard, but damn. Someone disguised themselves as a suit, lured kids into a room, and killed them. Didn't that already happen, though? Did we not learn lessons during the first game? Well, the thing is, the first game actually came after this one. This game is a prequel. That's how the phone guy is alive, because this happened before the first game. What the fuck sort of Back to the Future stuff is going on? You can't just lob this at me like a fastball and expect me to catch on. What else am I missing here? Are, are you going to tell me Bill Gates is somewhere off banging the mangle? Not far off if you've looked at his wife. Well, now that we got the prequel stuff out of the way, there was something I forgot to mention during the last game. The phone guy mentioned something called the Bite of 87 because he was referencing this place. This place was where the Bite of 87 happened. Joe, you just dropped me in the middle of a hedge maze and told me to find a way out. I am absolutely flabbergasted beyond belief. It's like you're describing deus ex machina to me. I have to agree. I am a bit lost, but I've been fairly busy here. It'll make more sense later on. You got to get that music box, Obama. All right, I closed it. There we go. And Joe, you said that last game, and I'm even more confused. When does later on happen? Gotcha. When you're dead and buried. That's like a week from now. We don't have much time. Just trust me, okay? No promises. Oh, damn it. Damn, tough luck again. Did you miss the mask or something? Yeah, I'm screwed, aren't I? That answers that question. Thank you, Obama. Your sacrifice allowed me to collect more data and spearhead us towards the finish line. I knew you had an ulterior motive. Donald and secrets go together like a toupee and wind. You're just mad I still have most of my hair. When you walked into the office this morning, I mistook you for a billiard ball. Regardless, it's entirely different than anything else we faced. It's a micromanagement nightmare. There's so much to tend to in so little time. So take the damn keyboard and have fun. A lot of it's actually luck when it boils down to it. A lot more luck based than the first game. That's why this one is considered the most difficult to progress through. Also, why I was so impressed we made it through the first five nights so easily. No need to fear. The world's best security guard is here. I hope you get humbled already. The one thing Donald won't eat is a slice of humble pie. I've been meaning to ask, Joe. You said this was a prequel, right? Yeah, why? Well, the, at the first restaurant, um, they were moving around because kids got stuffed into suits. But in this one, why were the toy animatronics moving around? Well, during the phone calls, the phone guy said the new animatronics were hooked up to a criminal database, and the reason they moved around was because they were never given a proper night mode. Okay, that makes sense. But because of Night Six's phone call, we already know someone put on that Golden Freddy suit and lured children in to kill them. So what does that imply? 
Wait, so when did the killings happen? At this restaurant or the other one? What if I told you they happened in both? That's horrible. What sick f*** are we dealing with? You sound like a news reporter at CNN. I heard they were looking for one anyways. You might as well apply. Donald, did you even hear what Joe just said? The psycho madman just butchered innocent people for the fun of it. Do you have no reaction? No, I was too busy fending off Bonnie. And Obama, you and Sleepy Joe did way worse than that in the desert. We don't talk about that. Gotta say, this night seems a bit overhyped. It just started, Donald. If he passes this again without failing, I'm gonna be livid. Better start seething now because Donald Trump is going to make America game again. I'm giving you to 3 a.m. Tops. I say four. Looking at how Don plays, I think there will be one thing that'll ruin his chances. I'll keep that to myself, though. And Joe's hiding things again, just what we needed. Joe, if you were hired to work this job, you would have fallen asleep out in the parking lot. The animatronics would be free to roam the night away because you got caught in a nap. Don, if you were hired to work this job, you would somehow turn gruesome investigations into a way to make money. As a good businessman does, it's not my fault parents can't attend to their kids. Donald, they were lured away from their parents. What do they want me to do, CPR? Their bones probably snap like twigs. No amount of my breath is going to fix that. You really do have no soul. I'd give them a balloon boy plushie to pay them back. Problem solved, and you don't even have to feed it or anything. What else could a parent ask for? A kid that's actually alive. If they want one that bad, they could just go down to the orphanage. Have you seen that place? They're practically giving those things away. I'm at an actual loss of words right now. I'm not surprised. Still disappointed, but not surprised. I don't see what the problem is. If anything, I'm being resourceful of our government agencies. What the f***? <laughs> what the f*** just happened? I'm dead. If only that happened in real life. Are we not going to question what the hell just happened? You got attacked by Golden Freddy, the one thing that I knew was going to kill you. What the f***, Joe? Why didn't you tell me anything about this? Your strategies weren't enough. F*** you. Is that a rare death, Joe? Golden Freddy only became a character after night five. He has two ways of attacking you. One if he's in your office and the other if he's in the hallway. You have to put the mask on immediately if you want to survive the attack. Great, you hid more information and I got plowed through because of it. Well, now it's my turn. It's been a while since I put this keyboard to use. You know more than us, so you probably have the best chance. If he doesn't break a hip. Feels like old times, sitting in the office and burning the midnight oil. Well, Joe's reminiscing again, and we're not 10 seconds into the night. We're outright screwed here. If you could be the least bit supportive, it would probably go a long way. Funny you say that when it's Joe's turn, but when I was up to bat, you guys were throwing fastballs at my head. I simply wanted to see karma work. You make it really easy to root against you, Don. Give me one reason why people would root against me. You're loud, you're arrogant, you always insult others, you can never... I said one reason, not the whole damn Constitution. Well, there's just so many to choose from, it's kind of hard to settle on just one. You couldn't have this drive during your terms, though. You were as polite as a little old lady. Bin Laden himself could have come up to your podium and slapped his powdery c**k all over your face, and you would have just gobbled it up. Not what I needed to hear when I'm trying to focus. Yeah, I guess shooting him in the fucking skull was too polite. We should have taped him to one of the jeeps and sped down the roads of Pakistan. You could have just attached his junk to a car battery and let it fry. Got to make him feel pain. Yeah, but then that's, uh, that would be uh, out of ordinance, and a federal investigation would have been opened. Um, I also don't want to look at burnt testicles. Probably would have looked like a pierogi you left in the oven for too long. I won't lie. We thought about setting up a minefield and making him walk through it like a hopscotch court, but we had to weigh positives and negatives. Do we really want to incite enemy forces to act on his behalf? That was going to happen regardless. You should have just dropped explosives onto the whole compound. It's like water balloons, but for adults, you had no problem doing it beforehand. This is probably classified information that we're just throwing out there. Joe, we had documents leaked in a fucking Discord server. You think they're hearing things that they haven't heard through Thug Shaker Central? Just trying to be the voice of reason. Find us a reason to stay alive until 6 a.m. We went on a tangent there, but yeah, you're an asshole, Donald. Listen, most of our presidents have no spine when it comes to our foreign relations. I decide to put my foot down, and that makes me heartless. Putting your foot down against France doesn't mean sticking your ass out for North Korea. Speaking of, you know, he offered me a sister in exchange for severing ties with South Korea, right? No way. What the hell? Yeah, during my first trip over there, he said that if we withdrew our U.S. ambassadors from South Korea, he would offer his sister for me to sleep with. We had a big meeting and everything. There's no way this actually happened. You have to be lying. Why would I lie about this? I'm not gaining anything by saying this. It's more embarrassing that he thought I was as shallow as a man is to just take his sister as bait. 
I wouldn't put it past you, to be honest. Are you fucking kidding me, Obama? Have you seen his sister? She's like, if Tina Fey suffered from strokes, it's impressive the way she looks so underweight. Well, if any foreign intelligence hears this, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't bode well for those international relations you were talking about. Nah, we'll be fine. They're way too wrapped up in mass-producing nuclear warheads anyways. You know, trigger happy Kim, after all. You do have a good point there. No offense, guys, but this night has dragged on for an eternity because you won't shut the hell up. Not my fault you can't concentrate. You're so good at blocking out your personal advisors during speeches, I don't see how this is any different. I'm impressed you've balanced everything out so far, considering it's your first time back. You guys haven't made it easy, but it's like learning how to ride a bicycle. You don't forget how to do all this. It can be hard to manage now because I'm older, but I still got the hang of things. Tell that to Golden Freddy when he shits himself into existence and eats you out like a birthday cake. He's at 3 a.m., Donald. Last time I checked, I don't think you got here during your attempt. Well, that's good that I've made it halfway, but the problem is that this music box is winding down way faster than I remembered. I knew it was really fast, but knowing and doing are two different things. You got this, though? If anybody could tackle this night, it's you. You really shouldn't be giving him false confidence, Obama. Oh, damn it. The music box. See what I said? Fuck it. I'm just going to have to go for broke here. Don't do it too much. He did it too much. Damn it, Bonnie. Now's the worst time. Something tells me that you're probably dead here, Joe. Hell! Foxy! Where the hell did he come from? I don't know. I thought I was flashing my flashlight enough, but I guess I wasn't. Great. We just got fucking mopped like a dirty floor. This might take more time than I hoped for. Well, what do we do now? I'm going to rethink my strategy before I play on. Clearly, I was missing some elements that somebody refused to elaborate on. Does that make me the world's best security guard, then? Sure, kids play pretend all the time. Don't say anything about kids around Joe. Are we ready to get this show on the road? Don't get caught sleeping, Joe. It'll just be a drive around the block because I'm beating it first try. We're going to be at this all day, aren't we? Don't bet against it. I'm not getting very far with wind in this thing. And you would be right here, Bonnie. That music box is gonna run out fast. If Bonnie wasn't here. Oh, Foxy, you fucking asshole. I swore you said you were beating this first try. Where's the 6 a.m. at? Like you or Sleepy Joe could do better. Watch and learn, Don. Joe, you're just lying out fresh from your rotting teeth. I know the way you looked at Kamala, like a rabid dog looks at a child. Well, there's Golden Freddy. Something tells me he's not 24 carats anymore. What the hell? He wasn't even in the hallway when I looked. Watch and learn, you said. You died the exact same way at the exact same time. Face it, Obama, you're no better than me. Or worse than you. I'll take over. I didn't play much beforehand. I need to get used to the reaction time. You can't teach an old dog new tricks and you're as old as it gets. What the? No way, no way, I just got Shadow Bonnie. Who the hell was that? What happened? Did the game crash? That's Shadow Bonnie, a very secret and very rare character to encounter. I've never seen him myself. That was the first time. So we just auto-die? Great, this game is throwing everything at us, isn't it? You can go again since that didn't really count, Joe. The night's been going a bit too smooth. Yep, called it. That balloon bitch in his laugh is creepy as it can get. Considering there's a kid stuffed inside him. Don't tell that to Sleepy Joe. I'm the one that told you that. At least Mangle gives away when he's at the vent. I just flashed you, you asshole. Fuck you, Foxy. Foxy's turning out to be a real problem right now. Who's down the hallway? Golden Freddy. Ah, oh, damn it. It was 4 a.m. too. And this game really knows how to bend us over. That doesn't change the fact that we're practically close to war, Don. Listen, he was a very nice man when I visited Russia. I don't know what got lodged up his ass, but he went all tribal and wanted to conquer it for the motherland. Are you serious? I just flashed down there. Story of my life. Isn't Mangle just like a female foxy? Pretty much. What happened to her to make her torn up like that? Just rowdy kids that kept tearing her apart. Like a kid's first G.I. Joe. I had the mask on and she didn't leave. Are you serious? Well, that was a good run. Music box ran out, so you're kind of screwed over. I'm not giving this game the satisfaction of me dying. I don't even blame you, Obama. What the fuck? I put on the mask. I think you flashed your flashlight before that. Poor shit. That's how you ward off Golden Freddy. And die by Foxy. Wow, it's like the game heard me. I don't think Foxy is my favorite character anymore. Oh boy, it's Balloon Boy. He can't even be that tall. I should be able to just ram his face in with my foot or something. Are you serious? What the hell was I supposed to do? I don't think any of us are liking Foxy right now. Oh shit, we're already starting the night? He's wasting no time on you, Don. No, there's no way I'm dead already. It's, it's too early. There's no way. Why is this game being an asshole? I'll just take the keyboard before you break it. 
Barack, take the keyboard before I break it. Already did. Joe, how the hell is Foxy your favorite? He's on my shit list right now. And that's a very good reason why. He's not anymore. And he's back again. I'm flashing the hallway first. They may take a while to stop moving. I got time. The music box winds faster than you think. Are they still moving? Let me flash. What the fuck? Well, there you go. Yeah, and now the music box is out. And if Balloon Boy, yeah, fuck this game. I'm not letting some honky bullshit kill me. Bonnie was there. You didn't wind up the music box at all. I couldn't. I'm hoping it'll do for now, but it'll be close. This game has turned out to be really unfun. There we got it. Well, I got it. It said I had it. Did you rage quit too? If everybody else did, so can I. And it was 5 a.m. too. Damn. Wait, was Toy Chica at the vent? Uh, well, that answers that. I do not like this game anymore. You and me both, Don. You've got to be kidding me. When did Chica become such a problem? They all just kind of come and go at will. No one is really a problem at any specific time until we have a streak. Yeah, this game is shitting on my chest and really enjoying it. Balloon Boy, I hate you so much. Oh, and Toy Bonnie scans at the worst possible time. Yeah, I think that about does it for this one. We're 20 attempts in and nowhere close to where we want to be. Damn it. Yeah, I was just fucked there. Golden Freddy in the hallway, Toy Bonnie in the vent, and the music box out. Talk about bad luck. 5 a.m., it's 5 a.m., shut the hell up, it's 5 a.m. If Chica lets you wind up the music box... What? It's been like a minute. 6 a.m. should be here. Give me my celebration. Don, you're close, but still stay attentive. I think he's confused. Give me my 6 a.m. Foxy, where was my 6 a.m.? It was like 5 a.m. for so long. Why does this game hate me? I think you better cool off in the other room, Don. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, oh, what the hell is happening? You good, Joe? The opposite, I just had a meltdown and I'm dead. As expected. Wait, is Donald still cooling off? I might have to join him. I'm just gonna sit here, accept death. You could at least fight like a man or something. Oh, hey Don, when did you get back? Just now, I got up in arms about what happened and I lost one of my gold cufflinks. I was on the ground searching for like five minutes. That had to be fun. Anyways, get up and fight, Obama. There's no point, it all burns down anyways. <laughs> Looks like a clown. I think we're all clowns here. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Did we finally get a mini game? What the hell is this? It's like Atari. Are we Freddy? Just move around, these mini games are rare. Oh look, it's just what killed me. Come here, you fucker. Get him, Obama. This is for all the winding you make us do. Get back here, damn it. Oh, look at that pile of crap. Joe Biden taking a nap over there. It's more orange than white. I thought that was you at first glance. Oh, just a casual corpse. Seems like a normal day at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I don't remember having this much blood. It's like someone spilled tomato sauce everywhere. Knowing this restaurant, they would probably pass it as tomato sauce too. Oh, look, he gave us a present. Isn't that the best? This is where he comes from, actually. Did he just give us the route to how he fucking mulched us? Uh, I did something. The EXE died and so did we. What the fuck was that? It goes into the lore and what happened? Let me guess, it'll make sense later on. You know me too well. You know what? I don't care anymore. This might be the strat to go with, I won't lie. Yeah, checking that other vent is useless anyways. I don't even care anymore, I just want it to end. I'm trying guys, I really am. We can see, you got this. Secure it, Obama, easy win for you. Five a.m. Don't focus on the time, just keep going. Too easy for you. Don't talk too much, just let him focus. At least we know where Foxy is now. There you go, easy does it. You're doing great, Brock. Foxy's in the hallway, I can recover the music box. You're right there, keep pushing. Finish it, Obama, like a president would. That was Golden Freddy. How am I not dead? Don't question it, just keep going.
and that's how you fucking do it. Hell yeah! Let's fucking go, Obama. You're the best. You ran that shit, Barack. That's my president. Fuck this game. Fuck this game into the ground. And give me that damn paycheck. Well, that's the hard part. Now we're going to play some custom night games. Joe. We don't have to beat them, though. Let's just try them, Don. This is not how I imagined Dark Brandon coming out. I'm really sick of seeing these polished microwaves. You know what time it is, gentlemen. Time for the custom night. Why did we skip last game's custom night? But we're playing this one. Unlike last game, this game has a pre-made set of challenges for us to throw our hat into the ring. For example, they have the hardest difficulty for the first game, but adapted to this game's play style. Well, isn't that great? I get fucked by old robots and new clothing. Quite the improvement we have there. And instead of bitching on the menu, Donald's now complaining on the custom night selection. Also quite the improvement. Save semantics for later. Donald, since you're the world's best security guard, do you want to attempt 420? You were the best at the first game, after all. I'll beat it first try. Joe won't even be able to fall asleep before I get it done. I swore you said this about night six. I don't recall. How convenient. So the only ones active are the withered animatronics, right? Right, so you only have to worry about flashing Foxy and putting on the mask for all the others. I assume the music box is still active? Yep, that's the one animatronic that you cannot alter difficulties. The music box is always set to a default speed. Got it, music box, Freddy mask, and flashing down the hallway piece of cake. Haven't you eaten a bit too many pieces, Don? Another fat joke from Obama here. You know, with how much of your liberal agenda is composed of people who look like obese worms, you think you'd avoid those jokes. I make exceptions for you, of course. Need I remind you of your comments you made about Barack's presidency, Donald? Oh, so it's a crime now to criticize a president's moral approach to tackling societal dilemmas. Joe Biden's America, everybody, where the First Amendment is completely destroyed right in front of your eyes. I'm not saying it's free of criticism, but when you call him the most ignorant president of our history, you sound like a complete fucking dingbat. Even if that ridiculous statement was true, you usurped that role for me, Don. Do you remember when he claimed that you founded ISIS? I most certainly do. In fact, Michelle and I were discussing it the other day during brunch. It's like the village idiot drank lighter fluid and pissed in a fire. And even he would still be smarter than Donald. Do you guys have anything else better to do than eat the fibers of my pubic hair? I'm trying to win a game here and I can't focus when you guys are getting off to each other in the corner. Can't the world's best security guard focus with or without us talking? Of course I can, but I still don't want to hear you two hyenas yucking it up over there. So the answer is no, you can't focus with us talking. I don't think he can focus in general. His term was a good example of that. Joe, you absolute chunk of rotting flesh. Don't you dare talk shit to me when you don't even know where the damn audience is half the time. You didn't think it was alarming when your assistants had to remind you to sit? We all had that slip of paper. Don't be ignorant. Okay, I may struggle with a bit of memory loss, but don't throw darts at me when you can't even run the government. You had it shut down because Congress wouldn't shell out the money for your wall. What the hell sort of businessman are you? A damn good one. And if corrupt congressmen weren't plaguing my path, we would have stopped the trafficking problem at the border. My fault, I care about the safety of the American people. Don, almost a million people lost their jobs and that was all within government agencies. It's really hard to believe you care about the American people at all once you look at your lack of consideration towards them. And it wouldn't have happened if they could have just bent their backs a little and gave me a more paved road. And $5 billion. Joe, what's your solution to the border crisis? giving our government funding to other countries again? Do do we look like a damn Salvation Army? We're the United States of America. Have some respect to the people. And that's why you almost started World War III. You put us first before any other country or even humanity for that matter. Obama, who the hell do you think first heard about the assassination attack on Putin? He called me freaking out about that little Walmart firecracker that went over the Capitol. He didn't even speak to his advisors about it. I was the first person he talked to. So in that regard, I'm extremely considerate. My point is that you judge my term and its accomplishments while ignoring your term and its failures. The art of balance, as they say. Geez, I'm getting gaslit by two Democrats on both sides of me. I think I've said this before, but it feels like the 2020 election all over again. Did Donald do anything good, actually? The economy was pretty good. Yeah, but Donald's also a billionaire. He knows how to operate with budgets. Still, the economy isn't easy to figure out. I've been dealing with that shit for the past two years, and I feel like I'm looking at car manuals. You also got it when it was fresh off of the quarantine layoffs, so cut yourself some slack. Yeah, but we're far beyond that now. It's been almost two years. 
Joe, I'll be honest with you here, it took me so long to understand all the budgets behind the economy. For the first few years, I actually had Secretary Jack Lew do all the work behind curtains, and then I just signed off on it. Did you just admit to fucking grand scale fraud in front of an audience? The hell are you talking about? He's referring to passing bills. Oh, is that how you do it? I just chuck numbers in a graphing calculator and they just spat back at me. So what you're saying is that we all don't know what the hell is going on. That's what I gather. You really think we have it together in the first place? It's a Wednesday at two in the morning. The world is crumbling right before us. And we're over here playing a flash game while I eat the last of the Doritos. You fat asshole. Those were supposed to last until Friday. They're only $3 if you go to any grocery store. That's not the problem. Michelle is taking care of finances now, and I already went over my weekly allowance. That entire household must be as organized as a trailer park. Damn it! I pressed on the mask. Now you know how it feels. Did I at least get it off in time? Son of a bitch! Remember, Donald, this game eats your hopes and dreams and spits it out like mouthwash. Did you remind me, Obama? Well, that was your attempt. Yay. Let's reselect at the menu. Okay, so this will be my turn, since my biggest struggle was probably Balloon Boy. What challenge am I getting? You'll have 10, 20 modes since you beat every other night. Hey! Excuse me, every night besides night five. You're really leeching for one night of work? I'm a simple man. I want credit where credit is due. Odd, but not the weirdest thing you've wanted. I'll be doing the same strategy as you did, Barack. Balloon Boy will be the only one active that we have to vent check. A lot of it was luck, too. Toy Bonnie could have pulled up at any moment, and I would have been a sitting duck. Pun intended. But don't sell yourself short. You beat it at the end of the day and did way better than Donald. You didn't even beat a single damn night, Joe, and you have a weird obsession with this game. He really didn't get a chance besides night six. Wait a damn minute. I didn't even think about this. With your family's reputation with laptops, you should have those security cameras read like an open book. I'm betting $5 that you didn't do any research behind this besides what the New York Post told you. Will Michelle let you bet those $5? No. I honestly don't know which family is more of a catastrophe. You or Joe's. At least my wife isn't as old as my son. They're not even the same age. The age gap is considerably small, to a point where it's concerning. Now that you mention it, I do have to say that I can't record tomorrow. Dare I ask why? Michelle wants me to... You don't even have to finish the sentence, but wow, just wow. Listen, Don, do you really think that I want to go to a library and read to children? Do you really think I would have a good time around little miscreants? The five people you interact with the most reflect on your overall character, and you hang around Joe Biden a lot. The hell is that supposed to mean? It means focus on the game, Joe. That's what it means. Go the hell away, balloon boy. You got to get that music box. Yeah, you're right. I just hope he left the vent already. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Really need to stop alluding to things that could kill you, Joe. Well, let's get this over with. Now, Donald, this is the hardest game mode in the franchise, possibly. Under any circumstances, do not disturb Barack. You act like he's defusing a fucking bomb. It's a kid's game, Joe. Calm down. I just show a little bit of respect, and I know that's incredibly difficult for you, but at least do it here. You act like I'm a cyborg, incapable of feeling human emotions. I kept it quiet when he was about to finish night six. I'll do it here, too. Yeah, I can feel the energy of this night, and it is daunting. Good luck, man. Sounds like you'll need it. Okay, we're not off to a bad start. Keep at it. You can block everything else out. Yeah, just stay in the zone right now. This bitch won't leave. I might already be dead. Just stay focused. Everything else doesn't matter. Oh, there's no way I'm living this. How the hell am I still alive? That doesn't matter. Just keep going. Yeah, they're not stopping for any reason. I didn't expect them to, and you shouldn't have either. Oh, shit, I might have a chance to wind up the music box. Spoke too soon. I really spoke too soon. Damn, you were rolling there. No way I'm still alive. Well, I kind of just set myself up for that one. But a good try regardless. At least you made it to 1 AM. There, we're finally done. Let's move on to the next game. Actually, there is one final thing I want to do. Joe, you've got to be fucking lying to me right now. It'll be quick, I promise. Make sure it is. All right, so this is one of the mini games that you could have gotten when you died. What the hell is happening? Seems pretty self-explanatory. We're taking cake to the children. Why the hell is there a child crying outside? Just go inside, you fucking idiot. It looks like a party, and if he's crying, 
he probably wasn't invited. Are we feeding bottomless pits for kids? Why the hell are they hungry again? Like Freddie just gave you cake, you fucking gremlin. How about you wait a damn minute? Oh look, there's a car pulling up. Your parents are here, now stop crying. It's not the end of the world. Why is he purple? Probably ate something bad for lunch. Something's not right, Freddie's not moving anymore, and that kid is going wide-eyed. That isn't good. Uh, he keeps crying, Don. Joe, what the hell is going on? Is this, uh, oh. Um. Did he just, ah, fucking marionette. Interesting. And we just go back to the menu. What did I just watch, Joe? Or what the hell did that purple man just do to that kid? Well, the one thing you know is that it wasn't his parent. Not only that, but the, by the events of this game, you can imply what happened. But that kid wasn't even in, in a suit. So is that another body that this man has caught? Is this pizza place in New Mexico or something? You can theorize the specifics from here on out, but for now, it's time for the third game. And just like last game, I'm even more confused finishing it than I was starting it. Joe and Confusion are like a married couple at this point. I would have said IBS, but that works too. 